Now, after multiple surgeries, she's lifting the veil, but we have to warn you, her injuries are severe, and her appearance could be upsetting for some viewers. It's the haunting first look at the woman who survived the chimp attack that shocked the nation. Charla Nash now covers what's left of her face with a veil. Her hands are gone. Doctors could only reattach her right thumb. This is how Charla looked before she was torn apart by 200-pound Travis the Chimp in Stamford, Connecticut last February. The Chimp's donor, Sandra Harold, made this panic 911 call. He ripped her face off! He ripped her face off? He's ripping her off! This photo of the enraged chimp looming over a police car was taken moments before he was shot dead. Charla was airlifted to the world-famous Cleveland Clinic, where she spoke out for the first time on Wednesday's Oprah. I don't remember anything, and they told the doctor that I don't want to remember. She says she's not in pain and is going public to show the danger of keeping chimps as pets. Her injuries are even more horrific than what happened to this man who survived a chimp attack in 2003. Can I see your new face? He revealed his reconstructed face to our Lisa Guerrero. In a riveting moment on Oprah, Charla bravely said she was willing to remove her veil to show her mutilated face to the world. We should warn you, what you're about to see is disturbing and may upset some viewers. Would you mind lifting the veil? Oh, my God. So, so we can see. Her eyes were oh, gouged out, shit. and her nose is in the early stages of surgical reconstruction, using a bone graft from her leg. She now has to eat through a straw. This is where the brutal attack happened. Sandra Harold is now facing a $50 million civil lawsuit. Now, Sandra has kept a low profile since the day of the tragedy, but her attorney has just released a statement saying that Sandra's thoughts and prayers are with Charla, and she's hoping for a speedy recovery. I want to get healthy. I don't want to wake up with nightmares.